guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Chayan Alton and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you haven't watched my videos lately, I turned 18! How wild is that? I will have two videos linked up here about that and two in the description box below. Um, I did do two videos around my birthday. One of those was a birthday fundraiser for Thorn, which is still going on. So please, if you can donate, donate to Thorn, the fundraiser will be linked down below. Well, it's a, basically a fake, a Facebook fundraiser that you can do on your birthday. So that, the video about that will be linked down below. And actually the video about my, what happened on my birthday is linked down below as well. So anyway, let's get on into today's video. Now, in today's video, as you can probably already tell from the title, I will be reviewing the new one of the newer books that have been released um, to do with the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts series which is titled Calling All Witches and I have got books down below <laughs> I love this so much I'll get into why in a minute and if I think it's actually worth the money but yeah <laughs> and just to clarify this episode will not actually be part of it's not actually a part of my book club series, so it's not in that playlist. However, it is going to be part of a playlist which is titled All Things Book Related. So we'll have book club episodes, reviewing books, and DIYs that are related to certain books. Just thought I'd get that out there right now. Now, fun fact, this book wasn't actually written by J.K. Rowling. It was written by Lori Culk. Hoven? Culkhaven? Hoven? I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I am terrible with pronouncing names of anything. And it was also illustrated by um, Violet Tobacco. Um, and it was originally released on the 4th of January 2019. I am actually, as you can probably already tell, I am really excited to be filming this video. As soon as I saw this book in Kmart, I knew that I had to have it. And the front cover is just gorgeous. It got my attention. I love how it featured Hermione Granger, Professor Minerva McGonagall, and Lita Lestrange. As I mentioned, I did see this book in Kmart. I didn't buy it when I first saw it. I waited a couple weeks and then when you know what you only live once left by it um it was only ten dollars when i bought it australian dollars that is and the front cover is just so beautifully done and i love how much detail and attention was put into it you can clearly see how different all three of their ones are in terms of shape color size even and the detail that was put into it so i really do love that violet tobacco took that time and effort to make it look so beautiful and you can see the unique factors in each character so without further ado let's actually get into me reviewing this book and my thoughts and opinion if it's worth having and if it is worth the money like i said it was only ten dollars in australian currency i don't know about everywhere else so let's get into it the front cover is actually what got my attention in the first place, like how I meant, like what I mentioned before, and I have to admit the background cover is just absolutely stunning. I love the cover; it looks so beautiful. It kind of highlights everything else, and I love the font that they use for calling all witches. It doesn't look or feel out of place. It, it's not like in grunge style and looks out of place on the background that it's on it all makes sense and it looks beautiful and I love that typical Hermione fashion got a book on her which you know it wouldn't be how Hermione Granger without a book now would it and I love the all the outfits that they're wearing they're very significant Hermione obviously her Gryffindor robes and Professor Minerva McGonagall is actually wearing the robes we see her in when she's introduced to us in the first book and film 
with Philosopher Stone and she is getting everyone ready for the starting ceremony. This is when she was formally introduced to us, even though she was in it beforehand when Harry gets dropped off on uh, Dursley's front doorstep. And Little Lestrange, Strange, I love that outfit, is one of my absolute favourites on her in The Crimes of Grindelwald. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Crimes of Grindelwald, which do, I highly recommend, it's amazing. In a very sinister way, this was actually the clothes she was wearing when she sacrificed herself to save Newt and Stacey Commander. As you can see down the bottom here, it does have the Wizarding World logo and I do love this logo, I think it's very cool that they have the different ones fanning out, the ones that basically created the story that we're learning of the Wizarding World and I love how it says here, the girl who left their mark on the Wizarding World. Um, and at the very top you also notice that it says from the films of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. And I love that they actually included the official font for both series. I think that's very cool and a very cool detail. And the back cover actually shows the same trio on the front, on the back, but the actual photos of them, so not drawing. And again, Leighton Lestrange and Professor McGonagall are wearing the same clothes that they were in the front cover, but Hermione, however, isn't. Which is kind of cool and has a description all about the book on here and does show you some information about other products that the Wizarding World had for Lee. So like the Honey Duke Sniff and Scratch and Sniff Adventure I think. Um, I'm really interested in getting that actually. And the Marauder's Map Guide to Hogwarts. So if you guys would like to see reviews on those and me actually getting those let me know and I will because I am very curious and I really want to. Now moving on to the actual content within this book I am not obviously going to be reading out the whole thing word for word or showing everything just in case if there is people that want to buy this book read it and see who is in there and get surprised or maybe learn something they didn't know I don't want to take that away from them but I will mention some of the things I really do love about this book. So when we open this book up, we are greeted to this yellow page, which basically, if you're in school, you want to take it to school, great place to write your name. So if someone finds it, they can return it. Then you open it up here and it's all the copyright information, all that sexy stuff. And the author and illustration um, details as well as just all the information that you need to know the publication and all that. But then when you open up to this page, it's a table of contents. I love this page. I actually think it's really cool that on the edges of the page, it does have the house animal, the emblem. I think that's really cool. So you've got the snake, you've got the lion, you've got the eagle. That's why right. Ravenclaw's emblem is an eagle, not a raven. Don't come for me. It's just what's in the books. I, I'm not JK Rowling, I can't change or dispute anything except an eagle, which you have to live with that. And then down here, of course, the Badger of Hufflepuff. I think that's really cool that they added that. I think it's really amazing. So, as you can see here, it says page number four, Kong or Witches. And then it also says in that chapter that it's got Hermione Granger, Luna Lovegood and Ginny Weasley, which I think that's a great way to start the book off. Just start off with the main cast that nearly everyone knows and then go into all the rest. Um, the next section is called The Women of Dumbledore's Army. There's actually a section in between those two, but I didn't want to tell everything. So the next significant one to me was The Women of Dumbledore's Army. Um, I won't spoil any more sections for you because there is quite a few. And, you yeah, know, just in case you want to purchase it and read it, I'm not going to spoil it. So, I'm just going to open this up to Hermione Granger's page just so that I don't confuse anyone or myself because I do that enough. And I'm not going to ruin the chapter 
beginning page because that's just gorgeous. But with Hermione going to pages, you will notice that it looks like this. I think it's real cool. I love the illustration and it's got some information here. But if you look at the very next page, it is kind of set up to look like a scrapbook. And I am high key here for it. I love it. I think it looks very cool. I love how it's got actual photos and it's got illustrations as well. And it's also got very big things of significance. As you know, Ron and Hermione did destroy half a cup with a back of a bang. So I do like that they included that. And Slytherin, not. I thought that was Slytherin's boss, but it's actually really Hermione. Time turner, I really should have known that. I've got one in my bathroom. Don't question. But yeah, I just love how it's set up like that. And for quite a lot of characters, it is set up like a scrapbook. Not all of them, obviously, because that would take up so many pages. And a lot of characters which just don't know that much about and we're just left to speculate about. And I, I always did love with Harry Potter how they always had empowering female characters i'm all here for empowering girls and females and it definitely shows all of those powerful empowering moments for the females throughout the book and it also does go into detail about when they've had to overcome certain obstacles or when they proved that they were brave she's like the true gryffindor and everyone wants to come out but for a lot of us we just shelter it this book is actually 95 pages long with so many amazing characters. It, as I mentioned, contains a lot of female empowerment and it's such an amazing layout. I love the front cover and the back cover. And I don't know if this will show up on camera, but that gold, that foiling though. And I love the gold leaves. I just think that's so cool. And what I did mention before, the smokiness behind Hermione that's kind of in front of McGonagall and look strange I think that is really cool but I just love the detail this is obviously a hardcover book and I love the what do you call this like the rib or the, the fine the fine I know it was something to do with this part so the fine looks beautiful and the illustrations that were done by Violet are amazing I strongly suggest you check out more of her work because she's an amazing illustrator and the way that um Laura Lori wrote everything out looks really great and makes a lot of sense and honestly I just get stuck into it the funny thing is with the Wizarding World you can lose yourself so easily in it so many of us grow up when the books and movies were coming out so it's, it's like we grew up with the characters and the books and the movies and it's like growing up with fun and I think that is very cool that JK Rowling was able to create a universe that so many years later after the series had ended we're still speculating about stuff and we're still making content about stuff not a lot of authors are around to see that big moments, see them getting famous, their work being recognised and it is very amazing and a female author as well and honestly the amazing thing about with like the Harry Potter universe because I grew up reading it and watching the movies whenever I go back to watching certain things from movies on YouTube or watching movies and reading the books again I just feel like I'm looking for a photo album or talking with old friends and reminiscing in all memories and that's like an amazing feeling and a magical thing in itself that when you go out with something you visit it and it's like you're back with your old friends again and I know a lot of people and a lot of fans feel that way and it is so cool for us older generation seeing new younger generations and new people being brought into it and loving it and getting so excited about everything Like, it does feel like you're going back to somewhere you used to go a lot when you were a kid. Like, I'm pretty sure most 11 year olds were just waiting for Hagrid or McGonagall to show up with an acceptance letter to Hogwarts. I know I was, even though I live in Australia. But, you know, 
every 11 year old at the time was hyping for it and it's pretty cool but sad watching other 11 year olds as you get older doing the same thing you did and you're just like hey dreams are gonna get crossed <laughs> but yeah um, all in all, I will say the book is definitely worth $10. It's a must-have for die-hard fans. It is a great birthday or Christmas present for any little witch or wizard even. And I know it is $10 in Kmart in Australia. I'm not quite sure about anywhere else in the world. So, um, if you're in Australia, check it out. Kmart, $10, not bad. For anywhere else in the world, I'm not sure how much price different there is in different retail stores and online retail so just something you might have to check out but ten dollars that's really cheap um it's definitely worth the money it's definitely worth having it's a great collected item and it looks good with all the other magical stuff and yeah and i love this so much i'm just a stalker for shiny things i'm like a nifla <laughs> i'm just gonna say it i'm like cherry wallace I will have her channel linked down below just because I mentioned her. I love her. Like she says, she's a sucker for shiny things. So am I. So, Nifla Sisters with a large, not that large of an age difference. I only to turn 18. But, like, she's in England. I'm here. If Cherry, if you happen to be watching this, please hit me up. I actually love you and your videos. <laughs> Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Donate to the birthday fundraiser if you have any money. Even if you don't, just share the video on the fundraiser or the fundraiser. The more people reach it, the better. And yeah, so hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what you thought. Do you have this book? If so, um, did you like it? What did you like about it? Did you dislike it? And would you recommend it for other people? And comment down below if you're actually interested in buying the book for yourself. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I will see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.